Welcome to Lithuania and the port city of Klaipeda. It's a fast-paced world. And here in Lithuania, a country that was once part of the USSR, a heavy-duty business is always on the move. Potash, a potassium-rich fertilizer used on farms everywhere. Trains run a constant supply of it from Eastern Europe into this port, packing it into massive ships that take it to over 100 countries worldwide. It's a process that just doesn't stop. It's a gritty business, but it's worth millions of dollars. Almost 18% of global potash production comes through this port. And at the heart of it all is Lithuania's National Rail Service, LTG Cargo, along with their port partner, GG Rail and the Potash Express. The 60,000 people whose jobs depend on the port need these companies to keep the potash coming. These are fertilizer wagons that have gone through Lithuania from Belarus. We're going to open them up where it flows down to conveyor belts. I'm here just as they're ready to unload 51,000 tons, worth about $14 million. Can I open this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it goes. A quick crank over the intake grate, and gravity does the rest. We're unloading right now. This is the fertilizer coming out to where? Where does it go down here? It's uh, on the conveyor belt which moves uh, it underground. Sometimes the potash sticks to the insides of the wagons, so they work it free with an air cannon. Smashing the, smashing the wagons to get the fertilizer out. A few hits of mechanical muscle keeps things flowing. It's all about speed here. Yeah. It's a constant flow of cargo. There's a million tons a month that go through yeah, this port. Exactly. The potash is then directed to three shiploaders, massive machines linked to the conveyor system that bring it up and spit it out, up to 1,500 tons an hour. 70 tons of potash per wagon. It comes out as kind of warm in there, actually. And the ships take it away as fast as it comes in. But they can only unload one wagon at a time so a small problem can hold up dozens of trains. I think this one's jammed. The hatch is jammed. They have to open it up manually here somehow to keep this going and stop the entire train. When all else fails, you got to pour on the elbow grease. Yeah, it's not opening. No, oh, there it goes. All right, we got it. 